is Bill Bellafraud. Ever since Bill Bellafraud's firstborn child, Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. left the New England Patriots, it's just not been the same. Luckily, there is hope. Myself and Bill Bellafraud will be taking over the New England Patriots and restoring the team to its former glory. The draft class will be set to strong. And as always, this video does not end until I take the Patriots to a Super Bowl. Let's see what we're working with here. Offensively, there's a lot of star devs, but there's not a lot of talent at all. In fact, the highest overall player on offense is Trent Brown left tackle at 87. We have two star tight ends in Hunter Henry and Mike Gesicki. Hunter Henry is 28 years old. Mike Gesicki is 27 years old. Our wide receivers are honestly pitiful. We got Juju, Kendrick Bourne, and Devontae Parker. Our running backs are kind of pitiful too. We got Zeke Elliott. I do like Ramondre Stevenson. I think Ramondre Stevenson will be an important part of this team. And then the big question is quarterback. Mac Jones is star. He's on the verge of an upgrade right now. He's 24 years old out of Bama. Is he the guy? Is this the guy? I look at him and all I can think is that is not the guy. I think this first season will determine whether or not he's the guy. If he has a really good season, I feel like it'd be a waste to draft somebody over him. But if anything, I feel like Bailey Zappi's the guy. But Bailey Zappi in Madden is 65 overall, 24. I'm 99% sure that's not his face scan. One thing I will say is the offensive line is actually solid. In most rebuilds, I feel like I'm always drafting offensive linemen. But the Patriots have secured that as well as the tight end position. So an elite wide receiver is certainly on my offensive radar and monitoring Mac Jones status, really, if he's going to play well or not. Next up is defense, and there are some really good things to look at and obviously some holes, but Matthew Judon, they got the red sleeves on him too. Matthew Judon's amazing. He's superstar. He's 31 though, so as far as a rebuild goes, every year he's only going to get worse, but for now, he's going to kind of be the anchor on this defense. I really don't expect this team to play that poorly. I think we'll have at least a six-win season. I'm definitely going to have Ramondre Stevenson take over the backfield. I'm also going to move Mike Gesicki up in the depth chart. He is a year younger than Hunter Henry. I will say, though, I really like the safeties on this team. So we've got strong safety Kyle Duggar, who's actually playing at free safety right now because Jabril Peppers is at strong safety. Jabril Peppers is good. I mean, he's just good. I guess Judon is that guy, but Judon's 31 years old, so he's not going to be that guy for that long. I think one of the best things that this team can look forward to is this man right here. Christian Gonzalez, definitely the steal of the draft. He fell much further than people imagined he would. And on top of that, he was on pace for defensive rookie of the year until he got hurt. So that's sad, but luckily we're in Madden where I can make him uninjured. 93 speed, 93 excel. He's six foot two, great size, hidden dev. He'll pop out star. We really need some dev trade upgrades and we need to get like a monstrous threat on this team. This whole team's like 27, 28 star dev. It's, uh, it's a bit of a scary rebuild. I'm not gonna lie. We have a solid corner core too. Jonathan Jones, JC Jackson, and Jack Jones, and then Christian Gonzalez. I would go straight into this season and start looking at the draft, but I'd actually rather trade for an elite wide receiver threat right now. I want to get Mac Jones a legitimate weapon. Dude, I feel so bad doing this. Juju is one of the nicest NFL players I have ever met. But I think Juju is laughing all the way to the bank. That man got three years, 36 million. He got a three year, $25 million contract with an $8 million signing bonus. I couldn't be happier for him. That man has the agent of the year. And I want to get Mac Jones an absolute fucking monster who's going to develop like crazy. I'm wondering what we could get for Juju Smith-Schuster and my 2026 first round pick. Like DJ, DJ Moore's the guy I want. I don't know if the Bears would do this. It's not that far off. It really isn't. I'd love to give DJ Moore like a crazy team to go to too. I'm also going to offer up my third and fourth in 2026. We're getting closer. Done deal, baby. All right. So Patriots offload Juju. A first second third and fourth that is a lot to give up for dj Moore. we went up eight overalls on our wide receiver one but he's also superstar and 26 years old i wouldn't be surprised if come super bowl time dj Moore is a 99 overall x factor that's what we're looking for and mac jones honestly sucks right now so we need to get him a stud weapon dj Moore moved to wide receiver one and now let me go down to slot wide receiver make sure he's in right there too i want him getting infinite reps and as the season's starting mac jones and bailey zappy have an upgrade i guess Let's go, Mac. Let's go, Mac Jones. Deep, mid, short, under pressure. Dude, he, he really might be the guy. So we gave up a lot of draft capital, but most importantly, we retain our first, second, and third round pick in the upcoming draft, which I think will be the most important one for us. We got ourselves DJ Moore. Ramondre Stevenson's the starting back. Mac Jones is in. W. Riz. I'm rebuilding the Patriots as Bill Bella fraud. Do you have any tips or advice for us? Uh... Na name five NFL players, Al. You guys ready for this? Cooper Cup. 
Tyreek Hill, Lamar Jackson. Yes. Sauce Gardner. Um, Andrew the Uka. Puka. Puka Nakua. All right, y'all, this team is ready for an 81 overall. It certainly could be worse. Our quarterback can develop, our halfback can, our wide receiver one can, and defensively, we just need Christian Gonzalez to have one hell of a season. Let's send this to midseason. Dude, not a bad start to the season at all. In the AFC East, the Bills are leading four and three. We're three and four. Dolphins are two and five, and the Jets are winless. Yikes. DJ Moore looks like he's doing well. Ramondre Stevenson's struggling a bit. Mac Jones appears to be doing really well. Defensively, Judon. Gonzo's unlocked his dev trait. He's at an 82 overall. The end of season one, we're six and 11. Second half of the season was nowhere near as strong. How did we do statistically? Mac Jones was 18th in the NFL in passing yards. That's not too impressive. Kirk Cousins led the league, 4,839 and five. That's like an MVP season. If it's not Joe Burrow, who went 43 and five. Mac Jones ends up honestly kind of middle of the pack. 25 and 13 isn't very impressive. I don't know. This isn't that good. Ramondre Stevenson has an 1,000 yard season with only four touchdowns though and two fumbles. So we traded for DJ Moore, hoping that would open things up. He does get 11 touchdowns. He leads our team in receiving yards, but he doesn't even hit 1,000. And we're 6 and 11, so we were losing a lot of games. I'm surprised we didn't have more passing yards. Hunter Henry got five touchdowns. Kasicki really wasn't involved. Defensively, Kyle Duggar had a really nice season with two TFLs, a lot of tackles. Jelani Taivai, Christian Gonzalez. Wow, very good season. 103 tackles, two TFLs, and three interceptions. That's really nice, but dude, we could not get to the quarterback. Josh Uchi got six sacks. Five for Christian Barmore, two and a half for Judon, two for Dietrich Wise, two for Godshaw, two for Lawrence Guy. When Judon's no longer on this team, we're gonna have some decisions to make. I wonder if I could trade Judon for some draft picks, though. Ooh, good news, though. And bad news. It looks like Kyle Duggar walked in free agency. He had too good of a season. He doesn't want to be a Patriot anymore. But that rookie, I was talking about how he might have had too many safeties. Maybe not. Marte Mapu is now my starting free safety. He's young. He's a 77 overall. I like that, but most importantly was Christian Gonzalez. He might have got Defensive Rookie of the Year. I wonder what he got this for. Let's go to progression history. Defensive Rookie of the Year. No way. That's so dope. Defensive Rookie of the Year goes to Christian Gonzalez and he gets the superstar dev trade upgrade. The morale is low. I mean, the team would like to win more games, but we do have a superstar corner now and a lot of depth at corner. So we're really good at that position. And I think I got to trade Judon while he's still got an ounce of value left. He's 32 superstar with a year left on his contract. Who wants him? Somebody wants him. Judon for their first round pick is actually close. I need to sweeten it a little bit. Let's just do a pick swap. It's official. All right, so round one pick 13 for Judon, a third, a fourth, and a sixth. Uh, we need a good draft. We really need a good draft. Not to mention, we can sign free agents. We can replace Judon right now with Josh Allen. He's expensive. This dude wants 21 million a year. I technically have the cat for that. I wouldn't hate signing Cesar Ruiz. Just get a little right guard upgrade for not, not too expensive. I'm going to try for Josh Allen. Uh, I don't really want to give him that big of a deal. He's semi-interested in the team. I'm going to make him a player-friendly deal. Nothing more aggressive than that. And if he signs, he signs. Oh my God. So we trade Judon away for a first round pick and instantly sign Josh Allen, who's younger. Even He's even a higher overall, I'm pretty sure. That's huge. All right, we got two big first round picks. Let's go for it. Now, I have a few ideas of what I want to do. We've got round one pick eight and round one pick 13. Let's talk about this class. Can I technically take a quarterback and replace Mac Jones? Yes, I technically can, but I don't think I'm ready to do that. I think if we just beef up this defense and win some more games, I think Mac Jones can actually lead this team. Cam Rose has elite strength, elite throw power, but he's slow. So this is a pocket passer. Looks like he's a strong arm quarterback. I mean, yeah, he looks really good, but I don't want to get all hung up on quarterbacks because I don't want to do it. Very deep quarterback class with a ton of good quarterbacks available. Look at the A's on Charles. Charles Middleton. Oh no, do I do this? There's actually two players I was really looking at though if I'm not gonna go quarterback. First one is Derek Robbins, middle linebacker out of Michigan. He's the highest linebacker in the class. He's got good in his physicals than elite strength and great jumping. Physicals are not honestly the best. He has the best broad jump, bench press, the second best vert. Doesn't seem too fast. A hit power, A play rec, A to C tackle. After I signed Josh Allen, I low-key wanted to draft a middle 
linebacker and an edge rusher. And the edge rusher I'm looking at, also the top edge rusher in the class, is Dion Stallworth. He's kind of far down on this board, but elite excel, great speed, elite change of direction. This guy looks better to me than the middle linebacker and he has good stats b power moves a awareness ac block shed ac finesse from now i'm gonna take the two positions i was going for and that starts with Derek robbins middle linebacker out of michigan you better not be normal dev Derek robbins that's a hell of a middle linebacker too Derek robbins 86 speed 89 excel run stopper 6-4 he'll be perfect in our defense Deion Stallworth at right end, speed rusher. Josh Allen at left end. And then Derek Robbins in the middle with Jelani Taivai and who's our other linebacker. You get what I'm saying though. He looks good. If Derek Robbins was hidden dev, then Deion Stallworth is definitely hidden dev crazy physicals his skills are good and he's a speed rusher if one of those two is at least a superstar this is gonna be a spectacular draft stalworth's got 84 speed and 90 excel okay stalworth two huge defensive pickups bro i'm telling you though if at the start of the second round there's still a quarterback i'm gonna take him oh my god there's still three quarterbacks all round one guys we have good scouting both ricky love and warren bradley look like they've got crazy good stats let's take a look at their physicals a 23 year old out of alabama imagine mac jones get replaced by another Bama guy. Elite strength, elite change of direction, elite excel, good throw power, decent speed. Break sack is nice, deep accuracy, medium, short, throw on the run, under pressure. Yo, this guy's a fucking dog. Warren Bradley's got real good stats. But what about Ricky Love? Why do you keep falling? Great strength, good throw power, elite acceleration. He's a scrambler. They both look really good. I'm gonna take a quarterback just in case one of these guys ends up being like superstar or really high overall. There's no reason not to take this with our second round pick here and i think i like warren bradley a little bit better than ricky love oh my god he's out of bama too he's a right-handed quarterback out of bama he was probably a freshman when mac jones was there mac jones is pissed i'm sorry mac his speed's okay but 90 excel 90 change in direction 85 agility 91 throw power i just gotta hope he's superstar now and then we did trade away our third and fourth rounders looks like we went all hidden devs all hidden devs on those first three picks and signing josh allen in free agency this could end up being super 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 good i just gotta hope these guys are decent overalls come on hey hell of a first round hell of a first round Derek robbins is a 77 that's one of the highest i've seen a middle linebacker come out i mean he was he was a high pick but okay so i was really geeked up about warren bradley he's a 71 overall so he'd have to be superstar for me to start him he's got a lot of throw power and decent accuracies as of right now mac jones is better so maybe i do keep mac jones and computer got us uh left outside line two Two outside linebackers. Also got a Steven Drake and a halfback out of Charleston Southern. He's normal dev as well. So it's just Stallworth and Robbins. All right, let's take a look at the entire draft. Ooh, geez, look at these first four picks. 81, 81, 81, 82. Nick Love was a 78 with what the fuck? Oh my God, this is the fastest quarterback I've ever seen. Yo, the Rams got Michael Vick and Lamar Jackson's child. 98 speed, 96 excel. Holy shit. I thought I was reading that wrong. Highest player in the class was Ben Lewis. Then it was Alex Feliz. Oh my God, the Rams had such a fucking good draft. They took that insanely fast quarterback and they got an 82 left guard in the second round. Ramsey was a wide receiver. And at the end of the first was an 81 free safety. Nice work. Okay, I have some like scheme adjustments to make before this next season, but I think we're in a really good spot here. Okay, so I'm gonna do a few things in year two here. I'm gonna change my offensive playbook to Dallas Cowboys. Much more favorable for our quarterback. Honestly, impressive that Mac had a decent season on Patriots offense. Then my defensive scheme, we're running a 3-4 right now. I want to switch this to a 4-3 and hopefully one that doesn't totally ruin my scheme fit. 4-6. Just run a base 4-3. Offensively, virtually nothing has changed other than Cesar Ruiz now, an all-star offensive line. But defensively, a lot has changed. Manning the middle is now Derek Robbins. A lot has changed on defense. Let's talk about this. So we're in a 4-3 now. Four down linemen and three linebackers. I've got Jawan Bentley at left outside linebacker. Jelani Taivai at right outside linebacker and our new rookie Derek Robbins manning the middle coming off the right side is Josh Allen who's now a right end coming off the left side is our new rookie Deion Stallworth and down the middle we've got Keon White and Godshaw that does leave one problem though which is Christian Barmore Christian Barmore solid player young player doesn't have a home on this team right now 
I would like to go see if there's any value we could get from Barmore in a trade before this season starts. He's young. He's a solid overall. He's star dev. Maybe we could get a pick for him. Christian Barmore in a fifth for the Bears. Second round pick. Hopefully the Bears suck again. And that's another great pick. And now that was like the best value we were going to get out of that. So that's amazing. The lineup is set. The lineup's ready to go. Take me to the regular season. I think this is going to be a really good year. Yo! Galaxy Brain GM moves in the offseason. I mean, we're 10 and 7. We tie with the Bills at the top of the AFC East. Looks like we just squeaked it out past them, actually. And that takes us to the wild card with an 87 overall against the Jaguars. Whoa. Although I will say, just switching to Dallas Cowboys playbook is a huge improvement. I don't think that alone would have taken us to the playoffs, but it's kind of a combination of everything. It looks like DJ Moore is having a hell of a season. He's up to a 94 boosted. Mac Jones is an 81 raw, 85 boosted. Stevenson's pissed off somehow, bro. We're in the playoffs. How do you have low morale? Hunter Henry looks like he had a solid season as well. And the offensive line looks incredible. Defensively, Josh Allen is moving up. Christian Gonzalez is a 91 already. Oh my God. Robbins, honestly, is the guy I thought would be superstar because we took him round one pick eight. But our round one pick 13 guy, that or he won defensive rookie of the year. He's actually superstar. Oh, that's huge. Mapu looks like he's doing good. He's an 80. Jabril's up to a 90. JC Jackson. Looks like the D-line did solid in the new scheme. At least appears to be working well right now. That's really exciting. Let's see how we did on this season before we go into the wild card. Cowboys offense. That shit's OP. Like, this is nice. I'm really excited that Mac Jones had a better season. All I did was switch the playbook. I mean, our, our offensive line was a little better. Mac Jones, 33 and 17. Looks like Burrow had a 36 and 8 season. And I just realized I didn't even check who won the Super Bowl last season. I gotta go check that in a second here. Let's look at the full Patriots roster. So Mac Jones, a big improvement. Stevenson, another 1,000 but 13 touchdowns this time. Nice. And I have to imagine DJ Moore is well over 1,000 receiving yards. Oh, That's gonna be a dev trait. That's gonna take him to Superstar X Factor. Almost 100 receptions, 1,500 yards. 16 touchdowns, getting 88 a game. Seven for Demario Douglas out of Liberty. Who the fuck are you? Cooper Cup, 1582, then CD Lamb, then DJ Moore. Nice. Jalen Hurts gonna win MVP. Offensive player of the year, DJ Moore. Josh Allen is seventh in defensive player of the year voting. Offensive rookie of the year is Ricky Love. Deion Stallworth is up there, but not quite. That DeAndre Frey dude was an absolute tank. Defensively, Derek Robbins, 135 tackles and nine TFLs and a sack. That's a huge season for him. Holy shit. Yeah, we made the right call. I should have done this with Judon anyway, but Josh Allen's younger and just got 14 and a half sacks on the season. Stallworth had nine. Tyvai still had five. Four and a half for Godshaw and four for Keon White. All right, y'all. 10 and seven. We're going to take on the Jaguars. Let's take a look at their roster. I imagine they haven't moved too much. Travis Etienne is at 98. Lawrence is up there. Christian Kirk, Tyson Campbell, Evan Ingram, Foyasada, Luakon, the Go, Trayvon Walker. They also got a superstar tight end, Jamarcus Hopkins. Jaguars drafted so well last season. All right, y'all. I mean, they're 13 and four. I don't expect the dub here, but we do have the overall advantage. Let's see what we can do. Deion Stallworth has made our top three. Our top three are DJ Moore, Christian Gonzalez, Deion Stallworth. I usually don't like to play at all, but I do want to play a couple snaps with this lineup. I've seen some requests for it, so I don't want to put us in like a scoring position. I just want to see the roster. So there's Hunter Henry. We got DJ Moore. There's not too many huge differences to this lineup, especially not offensively. But there's DJ Moore in the middle. He's excited to be on the Patriots in the playoffs. Let's give him one more throw. DJ Moore, deep post. Oh, shit, that's a laser. All right, I've got us too far already. I got to let the Sim take over. I don't I don't want to win this game off the back of myself. It's got to be a Sim. We do score on that drive with a little boost. We get another field goal. Jaguars respond. We respond again. Jaguars get a field goal. We get an... Oh, my God, are we going to win this? We got to win by 14 or it's fraudulent, though. Oh, my God. No scoring in the third. A Another field goal. Well, I did help us with that opening touchdown, but we still won by 10. Or I helped us with those opening yards, but wow, really good showing in the wild card. Only in year two, I did not expect this. Mac Jones had an amazing game. 28-33, two touchdowns and an interception. ETN was nice. Ramondre Stevenson was not good. 2.5 yards per carry is not great. Hunter Henry's 10 for 99. Devontae Parker, 7 for 89. Bro, DJ Moore's only catches were like the ones I gave him. He had one more catch though, and that was a touchdown. Did we, we must have done something defensively, right? Devin Lloyd has the only interception. Josh Allen had one and a half sacks. Bentley had one. Stallworth had one. We were just... Derek Robbins had half a sack. 
We were just getting home on Trevor Lawrence. Shit, that's a dub. Let's go. The rookie Marte Mapu is going to get an upgrade right here. Awareness, block shed, play rec, press, and zone coverage. Not bad. And dude, if we won the Super Bowl this year, this would not feel right. That is not how a rebuild is supposed to go. Oh, we're playing the Chiefs. Bro, the Chiefs are so fucking good in Sim. It's not even funny. I'm 100% losing this game here. Somehow we're in Gillette Stadium, though. How is this divisional played in Gillette Stadium? I think I'm a casual, but I don't get it. We are 10 and 7. The Chiefs are 12 and 5. We've got home field advantage in the divisional. Opening drive. Patriots get three and seven more. Oh my, there's no way. Seven more. Chiefs respond. Patriots get a field goal. Chiefs a field goal. Holy shit. Mac Jones delivers to DJ Moore. Down by four across the 50 in the divisional. A touchdown here puts us up. Field goal does us no good. Three down linemen. Mac Jones got lots of time. Laser beam. He's 30 for 44, 333 yards. He has no passing touchdowns. First and 10. We have all three timeouts. It looks like a handoff to Ramondre Stevenson. Do it. Go, Ramondre. Your ass. Wait, is Hunter Henry superstar? Why does Hunter Henry have the star under him? Touchdown! Is that DJ Moore? Oh, it's Devontae Parker. Touchdown, Devontae Parker. Josh Allen. Beyond Stallworth. Who got home? I don't even know who got home. Huge sack. Dude, I'm getting lost in the sauce right now. Get home. Get home. Huge tackle. Third and 13. Final timeout is used with five seconds left. What kind of fucking clock management was that? Hail Mary for the game. Get home. We got a pass rusher on him. That's not to the end zone. That's ball game. We just beat the Chiefs in the divisional. <laughs> what? This is actually just dumb luck right now. Mac Jones, 31 for 45 and a touchdown. Mahomes had two. We must have done something on the ground. Yeah, a fumble from... Dude, Stevenson has been struggling. How did we win this game? Dante Parker at 130 and a touchdown. DJ Moore, six for 71. We're literally just so unbelievably good at getting to the quarterback. Like, low-key, this is putting me on to the Patriots defensive scheme, which is funny because when you use Patriots, they're in a 3-4 but you switch him to a 4-3. Holy shit, I've never used this defensive playbook before. I was not ready for this. Dude, and we, we like maximize what we could get out of our players. We're going to the AFC chip in here too. Tell me why this is the best rebuild I've ever done. We're taking on the 13-4 and four Raiders? What? Let's go look at this Raiders lineup. 99 Josh Jacobs, 99 Max Crosby. They picked up Rashawn Gary. So that's two X-Factor edge rushers. Still got Devontae Adams. That's how, I was gonna say, you did all this with Jimmy Garoppolo? No, it's Ricky Love. Wasn't this the quarterback who was sitting there and I took... I took the other guy instead. Damn, and he's good, dude. He's fast. He's scrambler, and he came out superstar. This low key might have been my whiff of the draft right here, and I'm about to play him head to head. 7 0. 14 0. 14 7. Holy fuck. We're so good. Why the fuck are we so good? 38? I don't even think I've ever witnessed a sim team drop this many points. Oh, I thought I thought they were about to score there. Bill Bella fraud. <laughs> what is going on? I mean, it's Josh McDaniels. We knew he was going to choke it, right? 38-28 in the AFC Championship. There's no way. Ricky Love actually had a, had a good game, but two interceptions holds him back. Mac Jones, 23 for 28. Three touchdowns. Ramondre finally had a really good game. Josh Jacobs was nuts. 10 for 113 and a touchdown but like who wants to help me figure out what's going on here seven for 90 and a touchdown is this really so in this game here it really wasn't our defense they put up 28 but we just put up 38 if we walk this to the super bowl bro i don't even know what to say big mac jones is getting an upgrade he i'm glad we stuck with him man yeah we could have taken we could have taken ricky love 99 short accuracy a true a true patriots quarterback this is a cinderella story dude to be honest i was shocked when we even made the playoffs but this defense is something else taking on the san francisco 49ers in the Super Bowl. But say, if we got upgrades, it'd be this week. I think Gonzo might be a superstar X Factor. Gonzo's already a 92 overall. He got a plus one speed boost there. And he is superstar X Factor. Holy shit, he's insane. 95 speed, 94 Excel, superstar X Factor. Derek Robbins got an upgrade. I think that means offensive rookie of the year. Before we go into this Super Bowl, let's look at our roster. We, we might have gotten some dev trade upgrades. DJ Moore, what did I say, bro? I wanted a 99 overall X Factor DJ Moore. He's X Factor. He's the only guy, though. Mac Jones doesn't get anything. Uh, Ramondre's still star. Offensive line is obviously all star. And then Hunter Henry didn't get anything either. I'm kind of shocked that Hunter Henry hasn't gotten a dev trade upgrade. Marte Mapu continues to prove me wrong. Gets, gets superstar. Guy 
doesn't even have a face scan. He's a superstar. Robbins is an 82 down the center, and Stallworth came out superstar from the draft. So our defense looking a lot better. This defense has no business being this good, though. I guess on paper, it's a nice defense, but even then, it's like, I'm not going to ask questions, bro. Why would I ask why we're doing so well? I just want to continue doing so well. This will be the quickest rebuild, the quickest I've ever won the Super Bowl if we win the Super Bowl right here. Taking on the 92 overall San Fran 49ers, though. So that's, it's a little scary. Opening drive. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, but we stopped them. 7-0, 7-3, 10-3, 10-6, 17-6. Holy shit, we're gonna do it. This is just insane. There's no way. What the fuck did I do, dude? Is it really Patriots defense? Ramondre Stevenson walking home 12 yards. Full momentum on the Patriots side. It's funny because if you run Patriots playbook, but you're in a 3-4 with the Patriots, they don't do that well. But in the 4-3, I mean, we're holding San Fran to six in the bowl right now. A Matthew Judon trade and DJ Moore. Oh my fucking God. He's still up. This is a crucial conversion. Uh-oh. Nick Bosa. We're about to nuke a big, big field goal though. Chris Ryland, I think. Is that the Patriots kicker? 57? Whiffs it. This is why you sign a kicker in free agency. It's actually really important, and I, and I didn't do it this year. Three minutes, 25 seconds left. Three timeouts. Glock Purdy. They need the touchdown, though. Who's going to get home? Good defense. Derek Robbins. That's the boy in the middle. I love Derek Robbins. It's weird, though. In whatever formation we're in there, they've got Deion Stallworth at almost a D-tackle. Yeah, look at Deion Stallworth in the middle. He should not be there. We're supposed to be at a 4-3. Got Jelani Tyvai coming off the edge? What are we doing? By the way, before you tell me it's my in my specialist, it's not. I have everything set up perfectly. Why are we... What defense are we in? Why is Jelani Tyvai rushing? I guess it makes sense. We're supposed to be in a pass-stopping defense right now. Purdy sends it deep, but I don't like it, dude. Go back to the 4-3 so that our pass rush can play defense for us, bro. Here we go. We're back in a 4-3. Josh Allen and Stallworth off the edges. There goes Josh Allen and Stallworth. Brock Purdy's only completed nine passes. Trent Williams is over there with Stallworth, though. Definitely locking that up. I think a lot of our pass rush is probably going to come from Josh Allen. Ooh, right up the middle. It's fourth and 10. Do you take your field goal and make this an eight-point game? If you're Kyle Shanahan, you do. I mean, I, I would, too. You have to get two possessions anyway. So they, I guess they have the, they have the two-minute warning and three timeouts. So they are going to elect to do a regular kick here. First and 10. Play action. What? And we just got a holding. Why are we running play action when we need to be chewing the clock? Just give him the ball. What are we doing? He's going to go out of bounds. You're going to run. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Third and 14. There's another timeout. Probably just run the ball again. Eat another timeout. Punt this puppy away. <gasps> Ramondre! Oh, Ramondre Stevenson almost just iced the game. That's okay, though. Put us in a night position. Very solid punt and great coverage if you can tackle McCaffrey. Oh, my God. Another slip screen. This one does go through, but he's down in bounds. Get a sack, dude. A sack would be so big. Throws over the middle for, like, negligible yards, and that clock is ticking. Check down to the running back. He's going to take about eight yards. We're back in nickel, which puts Tyvai. That's so dumb. Tyvai's not getting... Oh my God, Jelani Tyvai just beat Trent Williams. Second and two, there's the timeout. Second and two from the 33. No timeouts left for the Niners. Laser caught, tackled. They got one more in them. We're in 4-3. We're in 4-3. Third and 10. Stallworth, Allen, one more rush. Get home. Oh, it's Keon White. No, it's Godshaw. see the animation no hey we just won the fucking <laughs> hands down the fastest super bowl i've ever won i i think the earliest i've done it before this was year four i didn't even don't think i've ever even done it in year three this is year two ramondre had a really solid super bowl with a touchdown mac jones was 252 20 for 27 and a touchdown dj Moore eight for 116 and a touchdown and it was dude it was defense we held the niners to nine points in the bowl two sacks for for gotcha one for Deion stallworth Nothing from Josh Allen. Josh Allen put so much pressure on him. Oh my God, we won the Super Bowl. I don't want to leave you guys empty-handed because I think it would be so weird to end a rebuild in year two. That is not a rebuild. So I'm going to give you one more year at least. Seven-time Super Bowl champion, New England Patriots. Mac Jones is Super Bowl MVP. Uh, we didn't win a single other award. That's crazy. We only won Super Bowl MVP because we didn't... I mean, we were 10 and 7. This is a full-blown Cinderella story. We really should not have gone. 46 mil available in cap.
I'm not even gonna lie. Signing Nick Chubb would honestly be nasty. Greg Newsom's available. No, my corners are nice, bro. Uh, my corners are nice. Let's get Evan McPherson. Let's start here. We we missed a kick in the playoffs. I'm gonna sign McPherson to a four-year. Karamoa wants to be a Patriot. I'm gonna give him a player-friendly. He already kind of wants to sign with us. Don't really need to do player-friendly, but we just won the Super Bowl. We should be able to sign Nick Chubb. His interest level's not that high, so we're gonna have to bump his salary. Luckily, he's a running back, so this contract isn't, like, um, unbelievable. This would leave us with 10 mil in cap. Nick Chubb signs. Karamo is still thinking about it. McPherson signs. Let's eval again. Karamo signs. This is a fucking dynasty. All right, new look Patriots after winning the Super Bowl. DJ Moore, Devontae Parker with Demario Douglas. Definitely got to pick ourselves up a wide receiver in the draft. Backfield's gorgeous. I wouldn't hate getting a true fullback. And then defensively, guess we could draft a D tackle if there's like a generational guy. Josh Allen's a 92. We may end up drafting O line. David Andrews is 33. So yeah, if there's a good center or right guard who could be moved to center, I guess we go there. Let's draft baby hey this is the true struggle of success though our, our first biggest round one pick 32 i'm about to take one of these corners i'm about to take a corner just because they look so good it's terrell hancock or dominique daniels dominique daniels is 6'3 some goods that's a big corner dude if i had two big rookie hidden dev corners dominique daniels the 6'3 corner out of louisville hidden dev 91 speed 94 excel i do have two good corners but they're not like superstar elites they're just they're just good so i don't hate that pick my next pick is round two pick 13 i don't think my guys i don't think my guy's gonna be gone i think all the same wide receivers are gonna be in here right now yeah jp vic bassey jermaine rivers they're all still in here i'm gonna go floor Florida 6-1 deep threat. Super speed. Dude, this guy and DJ Moore. We just won a Super Bowl, baby. We just had a 96 speed, 97 XL, 6-1 deep threat from Florida. Guy's gonna be a fucking monster. Let's get it. All right, I'm gonna head to the end of the draft. See if the CPU can pick me up some good stuff. I did trade away a good amount of these picks. I think we made a really, really good call. And we actually have trade offers for Ramondre Stevenson. Look at the offers for Ramondre Stevenson. A superstar right guard, 83 overall. For Ramondre Stevenson, who I'm not using. Puka Nakua in a second round. A star corner. Why is it always the Bears? The Bears love trading with us. We're getting an 83 overall superstar right guard and a bunch of picks for the halfback I'm not using. Let's see it, baby. Let's see it, baby. Let's see it, baby. Two 76s. 76 corner. 76 wide receiver, Jermaine Rivers. Computer got me Travis Schaefer right tackle. Ricky Windham and Ashton Barker. Schaefer's probably hidden dev. Hidden dev right tackle. I think DJ Moore should definitely still be the number one guy. But let's get Jermaine Rivers in as the second option. And then Demario Douglas can be the third option. And we're kind of phasing Devontae Parker out of rotation. He's just too old. We'll use him if we need to. But let's make sure Jermaine Rivers is getting his reps too. Dude, we're on full Lone dynasty mode mid-season of year three we're five and one a bunch of players unlock new abilities which means people are upgrading like crazy let's take a look at this line so the bears willingly traded me their superstar right guard and three picks for Ramondre stevenson so now our offensive line is even better i really could move caesar Reeves over to where cole strange is if i wanted to rivers is star dev so we just learned that jermaine rivers is star dev then looking at defense mapu superstar karamoa Derek robbins bentley peppers Jackson, Stallworth, Keon White, Godshaw, Josh Allen, and Dominic Daniels is also star dev. We also have trade offers for Jack Jones. Give me that 2026 fifth round. Jack Jones is now a fifth round pick. I got to give Madden credit. Madden is very well aware when I have too much depth at a position. Oh my God. We were five and one and we finished the season five and six. Yikes. Actually a weak finish to the season. Although I will say the 10 and seven record is how we won the Super Bowl last time. But I did expect a better record in year three here. Looks like Mac Jones led the league. Oh, he led the league in passing yards. Are you MVP status? Oh my fucking God. He might be. I think Joe Burrow 38 and two might be better. 41 and eight Mac Jones. Oh my God. He better get a dev trade upgrade. As far as rushing yards go, Nick Chubb is third in the league. Holy shit. We have the number one passer and the third rusher. 17 touchdowns, 1,600 yards. Definitely a good signing right there. We have the number one wide receiver in DJ Moore, who's not even my slot wide receiver. And then Jermaine Rivers had 1,165 and 10 touchdowns. Oh my God. What is going on? Uh, Mac Jones is fourth in MVP voting. It's because of those interceptions. Offensive player of the year, AFC is Pacheco. Defensive player of the year is Max Crosby. Offensive rookie of the year, Jermaine Rivers. Slot wide receiver. Let's go, baby. Defensive rookie of the year, not us. Although Dominic Daniels is sixth. All right, let me see the Steelers roster. 
and see if we can go win ourselves another Super Bowl. 99 TJ, 99 Minka, lots of defense. 98 Najee, 97 George Pickens, High Smith, Fryer Muth. Philip Stoker center is a superstar. I'm not really worried about that. Bobby Gentry, middle linebacker. Kevin Grant, halfback. Jeff Osgood, X-Factor outside linebacker. 91 overall Patriots taking on the 89 Steelers. Home field advantage in the wild card. Once again, how am I home field? We're 10 and 7. Low scoring game. 3 to 10. 3 to 17. Oh, jeez. And then all of a sudden, Vegas stepped in. That overhead to hit, baby. 24 to 10. Whoa. Another curb stomp. I'm almost not happy. I kind of like, in my head, I'm like, I need to really rebuild this team. The Patriots favoritism is insane. How are we this good? 15 for 25 and a touchdown. Pickett was 24 for 33 and an interception. So how did we beat him so bad? Nick Chubb had a touchdown, three broken tackles. He was a very big pickup for us. We must have done something on defense. 13 tackles for Robbins. It's, I'm telling you, bro, whatever I did with this D-line is fucking broken. Josh Allen, four sack. Two for Karamoa. Two for Deion Stallworth. One for Deontay Walker. Still though. Oh my God. And then who got the interception? Marte Mapu. It's a blizzard against the Bengals. We're also home once again because I don't understand NFL playoffs. Bengals got two 99s in Jamar and Burrow. Higgins, Hendrickson, Darian Sims, tight end, X Factor, auto generated. After him, are any of these guys auto generated? Tom Bain, the punter, and Mike Mullins, left guard, Louis Freeman, halfback. The dynasty scores a touchdown on the opener and then scores another touchdown. I'm not even shocked anymore. Bengals score. Bengals score again. We score. Wait a minute. Do we have an actual fucking... We have an actual game. Oh my God. And the Bengals have the ball. We've never been in this scenario before. We don't know what it's like to lose. Go Scheist Meister drops back to Mixon on a slip screen. They go for... Oh my God. They might go for this. I go for this. In the playoffs, three minutes left. You're going to punt it to us. It's game over. You're going to lose now. Patriots score instantly. And Bengals, what did they just do? Did they kick a field? Oh, that was the third quarter. Oh, I thought that was the fourth quarter. I was like, why'd they kick a field goal? We put up another touchdown. It's over. Patriots literally can't be stopped. 35-24 in the divisional. Mac Jones, 26 for 32, three touchdowns. Nick Chubb, almost 100 rushing yards, six broken tackles. Jermaine Rivers, 126. DJ Moore, 125. Two touchdowns for the Rook. One for DJ Moore. And I can't wait to see this stat line. Two for Keon White. One for Karamoa. One for Josh Allen. We're getting like four sacks a game every game. And we're not getting sacked. AFC Championship. Little rematch against the Chiefs. They are a 93 overall. Rishi Rice is now X-Factor. But we have three X-Factors now too. Gonzo, DJ Moore, Nick Chubb. Chiefs start with a touchdown. We respond with a field goal. They, oh my God, wait, no. No, this doesn't happen. Oh my God. Chiefs are going to get their redemption, aren't they? 14 to 17. Oh my God, we've got a shot. 14 to 20. Mac Jones sitting in the pocket. Clean. Great throw to, I think that's Jermaine Rivers. 20 to 14. Mac Jones laser over the middle. You're lying. You're actually lying. You're not lying. It's fine. Jermaine Rivers. Jermaine Rivers. <laughs> Offensive rookie of the year is open once again. Oh my God, we're going to go up by one fucking point with 30 seconds. The Chiefs do have all their timeouts though. Mahomes drops back. Laser out to the halfback. That's Pacheco out of bounds. Stops the clock. What do we got here, Mahomes? Right over the middle. Nice. Oh no, I'm sitting here thinking they need a touchdown. No, they do not. Oh fuck, they iced it already. No, they got their redemption. Dynasty busters. AFC Championship. Oh my God, our Cinderella story finally ends. Mahomes actually has 0.01 QBR better than Mahomes. So nobody can take that away from me. 0.1 QBR better. 226 yards and a touchdown, but Mahomes is just a gunslinger. 343 and two. No interceptions. Nick Chubb was great on the ground. We just like, we couldn't keep up. Seven for 83. Douglas, six for 81. Rivers, six for 39. A touchdown. I think I know what happened. I don't think we got the sacks. We're going to lose every time if we don't get QB sacks. Damn. Damn, man. Stallworth and Josh Allen. I needed you, boys. End of year three. The lineup got some insane dev trade upgrades. Mac Jones is now superstar. Jermaine Rivers got superstar for offensive rookie of the year. Hunter Henry gets his dev trade upgraded. And defensively, Stallworth goes X-Factor. And Marte Mapu, how? How is Marte Mapu going this hard? He's going to be insane for years to come. And then there's that Bears right guard that we got. All right, y'all. Bill Bellafraud brings glory to the Patriots. Low-key, this would be like like a dynasty. This team is good for a long time. I think eventually here you lose Nick Chubb. He regresses, right? DJ Moore is still going to be good for a long time. Jermaine Rivers will be good for a long time. Demario Douglas is still 
normal dev, but he's solid. This offensive line is not going anywhere either. I mean, some of these guys are getting older. David Andrews will be out of there soon, but Snow, Strange, on when it will be there for a long time. But then defensively, bro, 99 Gonzo. 89 stalwart, Josh Allen, Keon White, Derek Robbins, Awusu Kart. Dude, I'm so happy about this. It was one of the best ones yet. All right, boys, hope you enjoyed the Patriots rebuild. Try to make this one a little shorter, uh, 35, 40 minutes. Still a long time, but there's a lot in a rebuild. So I hope you enjoyed the pace of this one. Let me know what you want to see next, and I love y'all. Thanks for watching, as always. See you next time. Peace!